First, I started by removing the doors and all of the hardware, including the hinges and door latches. I like to keep all of my hardware in a Ziploc bag so that I know where it is for later. I then removed the glass from the doors while Devin took the back and the mirrors out. My girls helped me sand this piece down. I'm going to paint it with a chalk type paint, so we only used a 220 grit sandpaper to get the surface nice and smooth. Slightly sanding will also help remove the old dust or grease buildup and help the paint stick better to the surface. Once we finished sanding, I used a rag to wipe the piece down. I then used a vacuum to get any of the remaining dust off. Once everything was sanded, I used the old glass as a template to measure out the new beadboard panels for the sides and two bottom doors. Now that everything is measured, I used my table saw to rip the beadboard down. I then used my chop saw to cut them down to size. To install the new beadboard panels, I used the previous clamps that held the glass in place to hold the beadboard in place on the bottom doors and the side panels. to reuse the old back so I carefully used a putty knife to pry the mirror off of the backing. the same size as the mirror for the back. To install the new back, I used double-sided sticky tape on the beadboard so it would stick to the back and help hold everything in place while I screwed the back into place. inch thick MDF to make new shelves as the old curio didn't come with shelves. If I'd had the old shelves, I would have just reused those. Now that everything is cut, it is time to paint. I applied three coats of paint using my paint sprayer. All products used will be listed in my blog post. I will make sure and include the link below in the comments. hours in between coats for the paint to dry. It helps the paint to stick to each other better and it creates a much smoother finish. After everything was dry, I added my chicken wire. I used my upholstery staple gun to attach the wire. snips to remove the excess chicken wire. Now it is time to put the piece back together. Make sure to check that you are putting the hinges back on correctly so you don't have to do it more than once. Believe me, I have learned that the hard way. Once everything is back together, I always do a few quick touch-ups and then I sealed it all with a beeswax. Mm -hmm. 